Welcome to the the coverage of Carnival for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune, and the Advocate, sponsored by Gardner Realtors. I'm here with the funniest man in New Orleans, Walt Handelsman. Uh, my name is Peter Kovacs. I'm editor of the Times Picayune and the Advocate. And here's Walt. He's already thought of some jokes, and the parade hasn't even really started yet. I have not thought of any jokes, but we're going to have a great time tonight. This is our, I think, third or fourth year uh, hosting the Bacchus Parade as it rolls by. Time for you, Navigate, and it's going to be awesome. The, the weather is perfect, the crowds are big, and we are excited about getting this rolling. Yeah, this is going to be great. Um, the parade is, uh, the, the current bus just went by, and um, we, should, we should take a minute to offer um, our sympathy to the families. Uh, of the two uh, parade goers who, who perished this week. Um, you know, nothing can stop Mardi Gras, and, uh, but there is a sadness to it today. But, uh, but, you know, we're here and we're gonna do this and I think people are gonna have a lot of fun. And uh, one thing we should do is uh, salute the tractor drivers who uh, really do a great job. And I know they had to muster extra tractor drivers and they've done a remarkable job. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a very unfortunate uh, string of events, but um, obviously folks are out tonight, and I know everyone is thinking about the, the people that have uh, fallen off the floats, run up, gotten run over by the floats. It's, it's, it's been bad, but we're going to have a great time tonight, and um, Oh, here come the Clydesdale, so it's, it's really starting here. Yeah, the Clydesdales are here. Do you, you know how much a Clydesdale weighs? A ton? What? 2,000 pounds? Uh, between 1,800 and 2,300 pounds. That's a pretty know, good guess. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. a ton. Yeah, anyhow. Uh, that's, uh... Okay, well, we started off with a bang. You're giving me math questions to yeah. start the night. Yeah. That's how this is going to go? There you go, yeah. That's okay. There will be math questions. And um, uh, this is going to be great. I think there were five parades this afternoon. And um, so there was barely a gap in the action between the five parades this afternoon and, uh, and, and Bacchus. And by the way, if you're watching us on Facebook, uh, if you send us a shout out, uh, we'll send you a shout out back. And uh, if you tell us where you're from, uh, we'll explain to you how you'd be happier if you lived in New Orleans, right? Well, it's certainly an awesome place to live, and this is certainly an awesome event tonight. So, okay, we're on here, and uh, Eunice Thomas, happy Mardi Gras to you. And Pamela Green, we wish you were here too. Okay, we're all set. See, yeah, they're all, they all wish they were here. You know, they could come here. They could, like, go to the airport and come here and um, might take them an hour or two to get an Uber, but they could have a great time. And here's Cheryl, here's Sherry Kirkland from Colorado, where my son lives. And I know it's, I think it's snowing again today. And here it is snowing glitter and confetti, from what I see. Yeah, there you go. And they will be shoveling the streets later here, but uh, not of snow. That's true, yeah. Pamela Green from Pittsburgh. Oh, there we go. All right. And here's the here's the Marine um, here's the United States Marine Corps Color Guard and Band. And they're led by drum major staff sergeant Brad Rerig. And uh, look how good they look. We're so proud of our military. And um, you know, you just think that um, you think what a sacrifice it is to defend our country. And, and nowadays, it's, it's people volunteer for this. And we're so proud of them. And they're looking sharp. This Marine Band always looks sharp. Look at these guys. Yeah, they're having to clear the, the, the debris so that they can, so they can march. Let's listen to them for a minute.
Well, there was the Marine Band, and, and didn't they look good? We're so proud of them. And, you know, I think now we know why, like, Osama bin Laden never came to Mardi Gras, because, like, the Marine Band, they would just go kick his you-know-what. Well, I should explain what you're seeing also on your uh, computer. So, uh, Mardi Gras rolls down St. Charles Avenue, and when it comes in front of our office, the street is quite narrow. So all of the floats and the riders, and now we have these, these folks on horseback, they get squeezed in. And so they slow down and we get a great view here. But there's a ton of stuff hanging from the trees and being thrown across the streets uh, to the various grandstands. But a lot of these, a lot of these marching bands have folks that come down this stretch and they have to push all this stuff out of the way because it's very narrow here and it's uh, it gets cluttered with all the cool throws that people can't catch. So here we go. The the um, uh, the theme of this year's Bacchus Parade is the Wild Wild West, um, and the um, uh, this is the 52nd Bacchus Parade. It started in 1968 with 500 men, and today there are 1,700 men in Bacchus on 32 floats. And if they had to separate the floats, then it would be more than 32 floats, but, but we're going to find out how that worked out. And I just want to send some shout outs back. So we have uh, Shelly from Nashville. We have Emmy from Texas, Katy, Texas. All these folks are watching. This is great. Love seeing these comments. Anthony watching from North Carolina. North Carolina. Aaron watching from Frisco, Texas. Thanks for the shout out. Hope you enjoy the parade. Wish y'all could be here. Here's Christine from Michigan. And Ray Green says, be here tomorrow. North Carolina loves New Orleans, says Rodney. Okay, here we go. Here's Bacchus himself, which is Robin Thicke. Um, and I'd never heard of him before today, but I did hear of his dad, who was once Bacchus. And he, he looks like he's having a great time. Let's see if we can get him to throw us something. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We we didn't get his attention. He was uh, he was looking the other way, but we did get a blinky ball, a Bacchus blinky ball from one of the pages. So that's pretty good. Robin Thick uh, is a writer, producer, and judge on The Masked Singer. Did you know that? I did indeed. And okay. I want to give a shout out to to Lois Washington from Houston, Texas. She's a hoodad just like me. There you go. Well, why isn't she here if she's a hoodad? Well, no, we like hoodads to be all over the place, and we wish she was here tonight, but at least she said hoodad. Okay, all right. Well, good Good for her. Good for her. Lois Coons from Maryland, mm. where I grew up in Baltimore. Oh, there you I go. I don't know if she's from Baltimore, but... Mm. And here's someone from Harrisburg. He's oh, from sale. Harrisburg? This year I'm watching... Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Fred Dorfman and Kent Dorfman were from Harrisburg. And Ann Thornton is watching from Dallas. Yeah. We got a lot of people watching. This is great. Yeah. That's great. Every time I hear Harrisburg, I think he's a legacy from Harrisburg. the riding lieutenants. We're waiting the arrival of the first band. There are some more riding lieutenants.
There's a little gap in the parade here before the first band. So let's see who else is joining us. We have Debbie Murphy from Arkansas. Ooh, Kathy Pastor watching from San Diego. It's beautiful. John George. John is George watching. is watching us. There you go. Well, okay. Glad to have you, John. Come on out to the grandstand and say hi. Yeah. Stephanie Grace is watching us. Stephanie Grace. Hi, yeah. Stephanie. There you go. And here we have Steve Yeehaw from Steve from, from Na Nashville, Tennessee. I love Nashville. Uh, Katie, Texas. Alexandria. Alexandria, you could drive here in a couple hours. Yeah. Watching from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Oh, it's cold there. there you go. I remember when the Saints used to train in La Crosse, Wisconsin. They stopped doing that. Beyond Wood, you're welcome. We're happy to show it to you all the way in Kentucky. There you go. Oh. There we go. The first. The big, 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 big float. Yeah, yeah. Lots of lights, and I believe, yeah, there seems to be a marching band. Yes, there is. There's a marching band in front of it, which is going to be the prime time brass band from Rochester, New York. Yeah, under the direction of Billy Ray, they have a sizzling brass section, amazing showmanship, and New Orleans-style jazz, which that's the first thing I think of when I think of Rochester. And they're happy to be out of the cold in Rochester and hanging out. People are in, I mean, it's a little chilly, but only for, I mean, there are plenty of people out here in shorts and shorts. No, it's great. They, they're going to really, they may actually not go back to Rochester. They may just decide to stay here and move. And the good news is that they could, like, go find that place to live with them. Realtors. They would be glad to set them up. And they have a great cook This is nice. Yeah, yeah, right, right. They, no, yeah. no this, is, this is great. Yeah. I didn't know they sold stuff like that in Rochester. Uh, uh. There you go. You know, uh, one of the great things about doing a webcast is there's bright lights here and all that. So the bands actually play when they pass you by because they want to impress you. And how far would you say they are on their uh, ride or march or walk? I think it's got to be four and a half miles, five yeah. miles by the time they get yeah. By the time they get here, they've probably put in four miles. Well, here is uh, here's float number, uh, I can't quite see it yet, but... Um, Yeah. Well, float A, it says. But it's a little hard with. Oh, oh, here we are. It's the it's the kids from the East Bank baseball team that won the Little League World Series. And my next door neighbor is one of them. Is that right? Yeah. Really? Which which one is your next door neighbor? His name is Ryan. Uh, okay, there he is. Okay. There you go, it's all little, isn't this cool? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, there you go. He just got something from his neighbor. I didn't know they were in the parade, did you? Yeah, I did. Okay, there you go. That'd be totally cool, like you're 12 years old and you win the Little League World Series and then you get to ride in Bacchus. I've never ridden in Bacchus, they won't have me. Well, he's a, he's a great young man, and I saw him from when he was really little, out there practicing, 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 and I called him aside the other day, and I said, I'm embarrassed to say, I didn't realize you were on the team. No. He goes, it's okay, Mr. Walt, you don't have to be embarrassed. I said, I am embarrassed. He's a great kid, and yeah. his dad and oh. family. Okay, okay, well, that is, that is terrific. That must yeah. be such a thrill for them. And Who else is joining us? Dothan, Alabama. Des Moines. Yeah. Des Moines, Montgomery, Alabama. Jackson, Mississippi. Oh. Oh. oh, and John Georgia says, hey guys. Hey John. Yeah. So, 
And here is the Southern University Marching Band under the direction of Kedrick Taylor. This is a this is the human jukebox. This is one of our great Louisiana bands. This band is amazing. Yeah. And they have a big sound coming down this, this uh, canyon here. This is, this is great. Let's let you know. Didn't they sound good? There are 275 members of that band. That's a big band, yeah. and they have such a powerful sound. Let's say hi to, oh, hi, Annette. <laughs> uh, we have, oh, here's someone from Des Moines. Oh, really? I bet you're glad to get rid of all those presidential candidates. Have your state back, huh? The Millers in Annapolis, Maryland. OK. Well, Anna, the next, Anna from Fort Polk. Next float is number two, the officers of Bacchus. This is the cloak that I got hit in the face with that sleeve of cups a few years ago, and they right in the middle of my face. Yeah, he called Morris Bart, and... It's a big bloody mess, but I was a warrior, and we... He, uh, he sued them for a million dollars and lost. <laughs> There you go, what did we get there? The nice Bacchus oh, medallion. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I should say my son and his fiance are here and they want cups. So if anyone's listening on the float, we can throw us some cups. Who else is who else is watching us? Well we have apparently a couple people from Tennessee. Okay. Someone from Fort Polk. Here's the Dancy family from New Orleans living in ice cold Chicago. Oh, okay, they should come back. They could. You know, the. Mesquite, Texas, originally from Gretna. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, the thing about Mesquite, Texas is, you know, you could go to the airport and fly in here and you could be here in an hour. Then it would take you two hours to get the Uber out of the airport, but you could. You could be here, and you could be here for tomorrow's parades. There, there's some confetti coming down on us. Now, here come two police cars, extra wide. Now, I don't see how they're getting over all this stuff. I guess they're just crushing them. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember how much a chip they, uh, they uh, Clyde Scale weighs? Uh, like 1,700 to 2,000 pounds or something like that. Is this be wrong. Is it? Is this, it, yes, back is this a quiz? Yeah. It was 18 to 23. 18 to 2,300 pounds. Okay. Well, I'm getting a little older. I just had a birthday. I can't remember like I used to. <laughs> Talladega College. The Marching Tornado Band. This is another big band. This is from Talladega. And it's a nighttime. It's Talladega Night. Oh, there you go. Talladega College Marching Band from Alabama. Under the direction of Miguel Bonds. 
and there are 300 students in this band. That's a big band. And Talladega College was established in 1861 by the American Missionary Association for African Americans. Um, and I've actually, I've never been in the college, but I have been to their racetrack. This is another huge, look how long this thing is. It's a half a block long. Let's see if they're going to play some. When you stand out on the street at a Mardi Gras parade and you're at street level, it's really something special when the uh, when the drum parts of the bands go by, especially the big bass drum. You can feel that through your whole body. And I'm always amazed they carry the drums, as I said, a long walk. They do an awesome job. Also be part of the problem. The base drum. It was a bass drum. Okay, I don't know. Well, the next is float four, bacchanality. This is the title float. It's the wild, wild west is the theme of this year's parade. Okay, we're, we're going to have breaking news here. We're now hearing that um, that the police department may be allowing some tandem floats uh, due to the fact that the front tractors sometimes house the generator, and so they needed to allow that in order to have the the uh, the lighting on the floats. We'll see this as the as the parade progresses. We'll see what the implications of that are. Is everyone to be safe and have a fantastic time in Marty? It's as simple as that. So. No, that, that makes sense, and, and you know, we we the police department is so great at Mardi Gras, you know, it's the thing um, our police do such a great job regulating Mardi Gras, keeping us safe at Mardi Gras. It's, it's a little heartbreaking what happened this year, but it shouldn't subtract from the great work that our police do and and uh, and also the, the responsiveness last night and on Wednesday to that accident, you know, by them was terrific. People had to make tough decisions, and, and they made tough decisions, and, and you have to be tough to be a cop. Well, and I often say, it, you, you couldn't have this in many other cities. I mean, New Orleans is, is so used to this that this is really, it's, it's controlled chaos, and it works. And so, of course... When anything unfortunate happens, it's, it stands out, but it's, it's you know, 90% of this stuff, 99% of this stuff runs smoothly, even though it's very chaotic. Yeah, it is, it is. So many people, you know, so many floats, so much chaos. This is the Miles College marching band from Fairfield. Um, I actually came here uh, 37 years ago from Birmingham, so I've actually been to Miles College. I, I've seen it, and this is another great band. They're under the direction of Willie Snipes. The Purple Marching Band was voted the HBCU Sports Band of the Year. That's very good. Yeah, let's see if they'll play for us. I wonder how they decide when they're going to play. That's what we need to find out. Like, yeah, yeah. Is there some... Do they know ahead of time we're going to go four more blocks, or is there a signal? 
I don't know how that works, but, but yeah. Oh, but. You know, we have some bright lights here and we have a camera. So usually when they see that, the bands play. Uh, I'm sure this band sounds great, but they, they didn't play anything for us. Maybe they're holding it up for Gallier Hall. Now the other amazing thing, and somehow it works, some of these floats are huge. They're long, even if they're not connected to the float directly behind them, they're really big. But right in front of us, a few blocks away, is Lee Circle, and they manage to go around Lee Circle, they make these turns, and uh, I mean, the tractor driver, it's amazing, but they also, they just know how to do it, and it's all extremely smooth. But from here, from our viewpoint, it looks really difficult. It looks it, it is, it is. I think people don't give enough credit to the tractor drivers, and this year we're thinking about it. I want to give a shout out to Bob Warren. He's one of my co-workers here. He just sent me a text. Bob is awesome. We sit next to each other in the Saints games, and uh, I'm glad you're there, Bob. Bob, why don't you come into the office and hang out with us? I think Bob was pressed into service last night, so he may need a break. Oh, he was here last night? Well, I mean, a lot of people were pressed into service, so maybe he needs a night off. He'll be here tomorrow. Bob is the greatest guy to sit next to at the Saints game because he is a big stat guy. He and his son Cameron, it's like sitting in the radio booth. I asked them what happened there, who was that, they know it all. So big shout out to them, hope you guys are having a happy morning. That's good, and Walt is tough to sit next to at Saints games because the first time that they gain less than five yards, he thinks they're gonna lose the game. No, I, I remain optimistic, but I am a fanatic. So. Okay. Well, this is the Bacchanality float, float number four. Look at that crawfish. That's cool. This is great. Um, these are great. Yeah, yeah. Someone's coming. Someone wants my T-shirt, but the answer is no. <laughs> this is cool. This is like the carnival throws this year are 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 so great. There there there's less beads and and more useful stuff, including a T-shirt. Well, there were some beads. a little stoppage it's the first uh, the first slowdown of the parade of the night so let's check in on who's uh, let's check in on who's watching us today <laughs> Tony Ortega we got uh Lavore Dancy in Chicago. Thanks for the shout out. Kaplan, Louisiana. Rosie says she misses her state. Someone says they're watching from their bed. There's Kerrville. Somebody, Kerrville. Can't wait to be back there and catch the throws. It never gets old. 
Just don't get hit North in the Dakota. Head. Someone from North oh, Dakota. North Dakota. All right. All look, right. Look, Sarah Lynn, we you really have our sympathy, you know. Uh, North Dakota, you should you should come here. They're never gonna have Mardi Gras in North Dakota. And it's too cold. Here we got we got Barbara from Northwest Florida, and we have someone I don't know where they're from. That's a Greek. That's in Greek. Ah. That's Greek. Saying hello, Columbia, South Carolina. Hello from Missouri. How you doing, Greta? Yeah. Watertown, New York. Jefferson City, Missouri. You're right. Al, this is the greatest free, sh free sh show in the world. Here's Lynn from Memphis. Shout out from Dallas, Texas, and Carlos. Here's another one from Murphy, Texas. Carla. Amanda from Toledo, Ohio. I wonder if they still make scales in Toledo. Greek, Georgia. Emily and Molly from my hometown of Baltimore. Michigan. Dallas, we got a lot of people in Texas watching. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's Steven from the Philippines. There you go. It's probably the middle of the night there. Here's the, uh, here's the Bacchanality float. Yeah, that, was probably a that, that, that may have been a tandem split up flow, yes. So. And here's a little more of the, it looks like this flow was split up. It's a, it's a, it was, yeah, it was a triple. We should, um, we should, uh, we should give a shout out to, to Kern Studios. Um, you know, it's uh, it's not easy to to rejigger these floats and, and recruit the tractor drivers and reorganize the parade. And uh, you know, some of this they had like 12 hours notice to, to reconfigure these parades. Well, as you remember, I, I helped design a float. Uh, I designed a float a few years ago for Bacchus. That organ that organization is very together, very organized. Of course, Barry Kern, the whole Kern organization is on it. So, you know, they did what they had to do very quickly. Look at this guy. Now, this is dangerous. This guy's standing up. This is like an old Western. The guy is standing on the top. Yeah. The Honey Island part. Clydesdales. These are Clydesdales, too. How much do they weigh, Peter? 1,700 to 2,400 pounds. Something like that. Yeah. These these Clydesdales look a little heavier than the other Clydesdales. I don't know. Let's go weigh them. All I know is a guy stepped on my foot today in the parade, and I'm glad he wasn't a Clydesdale because it didn't hurt. Yeah. Um, you know, um, uh, one of my one of our carnival stories in our family is that um, Harry Lee ran over my son's foot. Oh, my goodness. I yeah. can't. I, I can't even read. There's so many punchlines in that. I'll say nothing. I mean, and and uh, we had to, we actually had to carry him to the hospital. What was, what was he ran over in what? He ran over. It was it, huh? it was a parade in Metairie, and he was on a uh, he was kind of on a on a, a float. It was not a big parade, and my son ran over to get something from him. And, and to Harry's credit, he was trying to get out of the seat and and shoo my son away, but he didn't get there fast enough, and he got his foot ran over. We had to carry him to the hospital, but it didn't break anything. Oh, wow. Anita from Calgary, Canada is watching. Wow. Here's some friends, Debbie from Basque, Indiana, Heather from Tacoma, Washington, San Clemente, California. Former Mayor D. of Arno. Oh, that? See that? Yeah, oh. yeah. Robin is stuck in the city. Here's a shout out, Robin. Minnesota. Yeah. I hope y'all are hunkered down. You got a nice fire going, drinking some hot chocolate or a hot toddy, and watching the parade in New Orleans. Yeah. It's all good. Everybody's having fun. 
That would, that would be a great time. Sonia from uh, Wellington, Florida. She misses her hometown. And here's E. Elaine Seiler from Lafayette. Love Lafayette. Somebody from Texas, Oklahoma, Branson, Missouri. Yeah, country music. Charleston, West Virginia. Well, I hope you all are having a great time. We really appreciate the shout outs. It's nice to know people are seeing us. Yeah, this is cool. The parade's moving on. Uh, next is the Kentucky State University Marching Band, the mighty marching thoroughbred band from Frankfort, Kentucky, under the direction of Alvin Lavelle. The band performs at all home football games and selected away games, and they performed at the Heritage Classic, the Lexington Heritage Classic, and they're complemented by the dazzling K-Red Dance Team and the Silkette Flag Corps. Let's see if they're going to play for us. That's another HBCU. You know, the HBCU bands are so supportive of Mardi Gras, and I bet it would be a cool thing to be going to school in Frankfort, Kentucky, and like the band director tells you you're coming to New Orleans. Oh, yeah, it'd be awesome. You're all going to come down, either fly down or take a bus, got all your instruments, stay in a hotel, be at Mardi Gras. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it would be, it would be cool. You could recruit band members with that. Here's Elsie from Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, and Felicia from Akron, Ohio, watching her hometown party. Well, come on back, Felicia. We got Tennessee, Deanna, High Ridge, Missouri. Here's the Bacchus Chariot. Chariot. That's a great float. That's a beautiful float. There you go. Okay. There you go. Oh, and and look who's next. It's the Saint Og Marching 100. Probably Carnival's favorite band, the, the St. Aug Marching 100. Yeah, the St. Aug, they do a lot of parades. They are fantastic. So let's see if it's, oh, okay. Yeah, let's listen.
been at St. Charles. He's the president of St. Aug, and he was, uh, he's right following the band there. He's also a member of the uh, advocate board. And so we see him, we see him here quite a bit. He's, che he's checking up on his band, did but they know, do look did great. He, did he know where he was? You know, I've ridden several times. Sometimes you have no idea where you are. You no, know, I just shouted out to him. And, oh, you and, saw, uh, okay, good, good. It's great to see him. I bet that's a tough job. It's a lot of walking. Yeah. I met a chaperone uh, who does the Kennedy Band, John, John F. Kennedy Band from Lakeview, and she does it uh, about four times. And then she said it's about five and a half miles. Yeah, it's, a, it's tough, yeah. That's another group that people don't appreciate enough is the teachers who chaperone these bands. All right, this is Gunfight at the OK Corral. You know, I think the order of carnival is that the college bands go at the front, and then St. Aug is always the first of the high school bands. To, me, to my mind, St. Aug is in the top one, two, or three bands. I always look forward to them. They have really cool costumes. They're very tight. The music sounds great. They're energized, and they do a lot of parades. I don't know how many parades they do. But it's an exhausting. Here's Jesuit. Yeah, yeah, there it is, the Jesuit, the Jesuit Blue Jay. Yeah, there we go, that would be cool. I want to be the front. <laughs> okay, that idea is off the table. Yeah. All right, here's Jesuit. Let's watch and listen to them. Good they look too in their uh, in their blue. Oh, they yeah. they have blue neon light. neon lights. Yeah, yeah. That's very cool. Lit up. Everybody has these LED lights now. Think the progress. The technology has made party ball lighter. Yeah. The Jesuit band is on the direction of Joseph Kaluda. They're accompanied by the Jayettes, a dance team composed of girls in the 8th through 12th grades at local Catholic high schools. The next uh, float is uh, Pioneers and Homesteaders. The Homestead Act of 1862 is depicted in this float. Okay, well, we're going to have to scream uh, Kalani on float 18. My daughter. This is Landry Walker High School. 
the charging Buccaneers under the direction of Wilbur Rawlins. School was organized in 2013 by merging two high schools that in the post-Katrina education reform era. That's a big band too, they look good. I wish everyone could be up here because the camera has a wide lens, but from our perspective, these bands are so long. It almost looks like they're a block long and they're, it's like a it's like an army marching down in these really cool costumes and then they break into a cool song. It's, it's really yeah, they, yeah, they are a block long. They stretch all the way down to what used to be called Lee Circle. She doesn't want to be known as April's daughter. Her name is Jada. 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 Okay. okay. All right, we'll try to get. We'll practice. Yeah. Jada. Jada. We'll try. Okay. New Mexico. I wish I was there. I drove through Las Cruces once. Here's Mike and Becky from Louisville, Kentucky. And we're going to scream, Cherish. Look, y'all can't get mad, mad at us. Now we're getting a list of names. We'll just scream for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Right. We're, we're, at our age, we're not going to remember this by the time the floor Well, I'm comes only around. 32 and I can't remember it. There you go. This looks like the next float is Western Saloons. I just see five card stud coming and it makes me want to play poker. Uh, yeah, well there you go. This is Saloons. Float number eight, Saloons. Yeah. There's a beautiful straight flush right there. There's a guy trying to throw an umbrella. There you go. There you go. There we go. We caught a cup. Listen, y'all need to throw cups. Here's the Warren Easton High School Marching Band under the direction of Aja Muhammad. It's a 105-piece band, and it's a regular at all of our Mardi Gras parades. They look good, and look how far back they stretch.
Michael Keith from Brockton, Massachusetts. We'd like to hear some music. The bands decide where they're going to play. Debbie says hi from Carrollton, Texas. Lived in Metairie until she was 11. All right. Uh, I'm back. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Great golf courses. Bloomfield, Colorado. Bloomfield. Throw me something. Bithlow, Florida. Here's Baca Amore is the next float, which is one of the signature floats that debuted in... 2008. Darlene. It's a tribute to, uh, to Bacchus's passion for love. Darlene's giving a shout out from Atlanta. Her hometown is awesome. Darlene, let us know. You still a Saints fan or did you go over to the dark side and root for the Falcons? What was the score that they were winning that Super Bowl? Back? Come on, Darlene. We'll give you 28 minutes and three seconds to answer. Ooh. Now we're throwing some shade. is the Madonna 35 Senior High School Band under the direction of Lawrence Wall, uh, Rollins. Uh, Madonna 35 uh, first opened in 1917, so it's 103 years old. And uh, they look good. Look how far back they stretch. I won't say how far back they stretch. I might get in trouble. Saints all day. There you there go. There you go, Darlene. Okay. All right. They haven't polluted your head yet over there. No, oh, Darlene knows better than all that. She's from New Orleans. She's smart. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Darlene. All right, let's listen to the band. They play for us, too. All right, we got a shout out from Gabriel in San Dimas, California, and Chris from Fountain Hills, Arizona. Jessica from Asheville, North Carolina, how you doing? And here's Celeste, born and raised in Uptown, went to Dominican, and now lives in Fairfax, Virginia. Said it was determined ahead of time when they were going to play. 
Thank you for the information. Okay. Oh, here's, uh, here's float number 10, Remember the Alamo, which of course was uh, uh, commemorates the battle during the uh, Texas fight for independence. From our stand, we're right in front. It's so cool, so cool looking. Yeah, it's just beautifully done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. all right, let's go. Oh, there's Walt's gonna put on his coon skin hat. Yeah. There you go. He's, he's rocking that thing, huh? Yeah. He looks great. Yeah. I'm sure it looks terrific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you wish you had one of those? Yeah. Skin cap, but I didn't succeed at getting a cowboy hat out of them. So, uh, anyhow, there's a little gap in the parade. Um, uh, Walt's, Walt's, uh, Walt's getting ready. This has been a great parade so far. Your costume. Oh yeah, the coonskin cap. That's good. That's going to be great. And and uh, you could wear it. It would go great with like. Look at these britches. It would go great with my britches. You know, wearing a coonskin cap and these britches. What do you think? I don't really say britches, but I get what you're trying to say. Anyhow, yeah, this is like, um, you know, these, um, I was just telling Walt earlier, these are 100% polyester, so they'll be around long after I'm gone. Can you get a picture of his pants? Yeah, yeah, he got a picture. It might have broke the camera, though. I don't know. Uh, let's see who else is watching. Fort Worth. We got Kathy from California. Oh, here's one. The band directors, this is from Darlene. Darlene. Yeah. yeah. No, a little fun fact. The band directors at McDonald 35 and Landry Walker are brothers. You know, I, I noticed that when I was reading off their names. I thought I'd already read that name. There you go. Well, I wonder if they have like a, a band face-off to see who, who's got the better band. Here's Robert from Ventura, California. Born and raised in Nolan, Misty, and Sanity. Yeah, okay. And here come uh, what's next is the roots of music. In 2007, Allison Reinhardt and Derek Tabb co-founded the Roots of Music and launched a pilot program the following year. The Roots of Music Crusader Band debuted in 2009 to wide and critical acclaim and currently services 140 students with a waiting list of 400. The, the band is under the direction of Derek Tabb. Let's listen up, I bet they're gonna be good. The waiting list tells you these bands are in high demand. People want to be part of this. It's so much fun. Look how young they are, some of them, too.
next up is the Bakawapa, the 85 foot long uh, tandem float. I don't know if it's going to run as a tandem float today. It carries 75 riders and it's been riding since 1991 and it made its first appearance to celebrate the opening of the Aquarium of the Americas. I bet you didn't know that. And it's uh, lit up, neon blue. It's, it's spewing out steam that looks like a water spout. And I'm betting that the mouth has a net in front of it to keep the beads from going in. Yeah, look at the mouth opening and closing. That's really a spectacular flow. you can so, so this this as you can see this was a tandem flow and they are uh, they're running it as uh, they're running it as two so you lose a little of the artistic effect because they have to split the flow and it doesn't it's not as spectacular but the riders are having a good time and uh, and the crowd is having a good time so that's a good thing And again, they did such a great job, you know, getting together and arranging the tractors for these split floats was on such short notice. They really did a great job. They really did. And I'm sure they were disappointed they couldn't connect that float. But to be honest with you, I think from the crowd's perspective, they're, they're enjoying it. Catch a big sheriff star. Okay, All right. Let's see who else is watching us. This is someone from uh, Ventura, California. I missed the New Orleans insanity. Kathy from California. There's a guy who likes britches. He likes my britches. There. Can you say his last name? Uh, Homringhausen. He said, dude, britches is absolutely correct. Said, if you Elizabeth from Cottonport. I don't know where that is. Cotton, it's in Alabama, I think. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's in Louisiana. Anyhow, if you like the britches, give us a shout out. They are available for next year. Here's Ed in the car. The purple and gold Cougar band from Edna Carr under the direction of Christopher Herrero. Two years, two years ago, they were featured in a national cellular phone commercial, and they recently won the Jazz and Heritage Foundation brass band competition. And let's see what they're going to play. And a big shout out to Don Beto from Cozumel, Mexico. And Llewellyn from Mexico, uh, Mexico, Minnesota. Yeah, and the roots of, someone asked if the roots of music passed, they had passed. This is Edna Carr. Let's see if they play. They're, they're getting ready, to, they're fixing the play, so let's listen to them. Oh, and watch them go.
babies in there in the car and they just went by. There we go. And Beverly from Baton Rouge is watching. They have some cool, cool parades up there as well. Blanche Johnson from Miami. But, but here for this. But here for this. There you go. Okay, Good for her. Well, we're glad to have Blanche Johnson here. We hope she has a great time. I think the next float is uh, is John Wayne, uh, who starred in 83 Western movies and has an airport named after him. Uh, and his name, of course, isn't John Wayne. I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't John Wayne until he got into pictures. Where's the airport? Um, it's in Santa Ana. I've actually flown into that airport. He, uh, he got his break in 1939 in Stagecoach. Bet you didn't know that. That was a great movie. Did you see that movie? Of course. What? It does look like John Wayne, doesn't it? It's amazing, a gigantic flow, like it looks just like Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go, I finally... Uh, finally caught some blinky beads. That'll be good, it'll highlight the... Uh, Blinky Beach really highlight the bridge, you know, it's useful. Let's see who this is. This is Helen Cox High School, the Cougar Band, and they have new uniforms, and they're under the direction of Lonzy Jackson. The band hails from Harvey, Louisiana, where the school has a state-of-the-art performing arts center. They sound great. And the next float is, is covered wagons. Covered wagons, or prairie schooners, transported settlers and their supplies out west. They traveled in wagon trains for mutual defense, and they were normally pulled by mules or horses, but occasionally they were pulled by cattle, which is, did you know covered wagons were pulled by cattle? We have it. I guess they were pulled by cattle and horses. And mules, yeah, whatever they had. So. And yeah, that's another beautiful flow. Here we go. All right, there we go. I just caught about six cups, which is good. We need cups. I just caught some cups. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Here. So I want to say a special shout out to my beloved next door neighbors from Italy who are leaving New Orleans for the Netherlands tomorrow morning. Hello, Lisa and Daniela. Hello, Juju and Bois the best. We love Nora. All right.
right, well, we're going to miss you. I'll bring bags of beads when I come visit you in Europe. Who that? Who that? Who that? Good going, Olivia. Good job. They're having a great time. They've been in New Orleans five years. They're covered from top to bottom in beads. They get it. Next up is the George Washington Carver Ram Band from the Desire neighborhood under the direction of Eric French. And you know what I love is when these bands approach us and they start playing. Which some of them do, they see the lights, they realize they're going to be on NOLA.com and, and they get all excited. And, uh, yeah. Okay. And yeah. And, you know. We have a great setup here. We, we were able to see the parade, Peter and I. It's almost over the street, so it's like a platform. And you really, it's really a, a great view because you're right eye level with the top of the floats. And they're only a few feet away. Yeah. There we go. Well, here comes the band. We'll, let's see if they play. Who else is watching us? We have Gregory from the Ninth Ward. You could come here from the Ninth Ward, it won't take long. And Angie, it's gonna take you longer from Southeast Indiana. Yeah. We have Sherry from Bell Chase, that's close. Robert says hello back again. Gregory, go Carver. Yeah. What float number are we on, Peter? I don't know, I think, um, uh... I think uh, 13 maybe just passed. Yeah, Emmy Lou, we got a long time for float 26. Pamela wants to say a shout out for your britches. There you go, okay. <laughs> there you go. There's Vanessa from Washington State. Yeah. Who's, Justin who's, from who's, who's the one who liked the britches? That's what I want to say. Britches. Who liked my britches? Pamela Floyd. Bless your heart, Pamela. You got good taste. We got Sarah from West Michigan. Yeah. Diane from Atlanta. Yeah. Randy from Slidell. Yeah. Jill from, I guess, Pachacula. There you go, yeah. How can I order those bridges? See that? Blessed Harris wants to know how you can order. Started a new trend. There we go. They're on the... I got them from Perlis, and I guess you could go on their website. They should give me a cut of the action if they sell a lot of these. Jeannie says hi from Texas, but didn't mention your britches. Okay, all right. Desiree from the West Bank. And here's Gregory. I'm in Atlanta. Nice board all day long. Wallace from Houston. Latoya watching from Atlanta. Okay. Dr. Bob in Cali. Houston. Rixie's from Arkansas. Guerrero, Guerrero, Covington, Biloxi. Rams fan. What? Someone's a Rams fan from the Carver oh, Rams. I thought you meant. Yeah. No, not the foot, not the LA Rams. No, we don't like them. But the Carver Rams, we like the Carver Rams. Get a shout out from all my hoodats. Oh, we got somebody, Corey from Longmont, Colorado, where my son lives. Oh, there you go. Tennessee, Jackson, Texas. And here, here's a Navy flow. Anyhow, I caught a bunch of cups. You, you can have those. I'm keeping the cups. My son's, my son's fiance, she wants them. Oh. 
I'm all, I'm all about the cups. When you live in New Orleans and you get all these cups, it's awesome. When you have a party, there's no red cups involved. You get all your go cups out, hundreds of them. Yeah, that's right. And the good thing about these go cups is that they'll outlive us by a thousand years. <laughs> and they hold drinks. Yeah. That's a nice, that's a nice beat. What? What? No, that's fine. Let's see who's coming up here. This is the Kennedy High School Band. Following the destruction of Hurricane Katrina, the school was closed, but it's now back. This is a 60 student strong band directed by Keith Thomas. This is a, a school that's coming back, so it's not as big a band as some of the others, but, but that, this is a school that has a lot of history, and, and we hope they come back stronger than ever. Oh, this is JFK. Yeah, this is JFK. I know one of the chaperones. Oh, okay. Well, Walt's going to see if he can find the chaperone, he knows. And thanks, everybody, for those shout outs. I see all you hoodats out there. We love you. We go. Look, look what's coming. It's a giant TV screen looking thing. That's almost as big as my TV. Nothing's as big. You had to take a wall out in your house to put your curved TV in. Yeah. I have a 78 inch curved flat screen TV. This thing might be almost as big. I don't know. This is some kind of the TV is bigger than this. You think? Okay. This is pretty nice. This is a this is a great float. I I don't we have to see what it is and it's not in the program. It may be out of order. Diane Lupe says she missed the pants. Oh. They're not pants, they're britches. Yeah, okay. I used to work with her. All right, this is the Buccaneer float. It was a four unit float. I guess it's split up. It carries 110 riders and it picks a pirate ship. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, this is a float that was a four-piece float that was split up, and, and hopefully they can come up with a solution for this next year. Yeah, I mean, it's not as dynamic, but yeah. they're making it work this year. Yeah, yeah, and I know they're having a good time.
we go. So here's more of the Buccaneer float. Well, here's some, uh, here's some breaking news. I've just been told that, that tandem floats will not be rolling this year after all. This, Where did you get the breaking news out on this? On this you're, you're amazing. Uh, it's, you know, we're a news organization. I understand that, but we're standing out in the middle of the parade, and uh, I didn't see anyone come up and bust Uh, we are, uh, well. Do you have a youth plug in? No, I don't. So. No tandem. This is So BB Wright High School from Uptown New Orleans, a warrior band under the direction of Desmaine Barnes. Let's see if they're going to play for us. Yes. There they are, yeah. Google Perlis, New Orleans, you'll find it. Here's somebody from Bradenton, Florida. I want to see my school walk. Waterworld. Water Lewis Cone. Go Hornets. Fort Walton Beach, my buddy's from Fort Walton. Here's somebody from Thibodeau, another great town. Nobody don't want to know the size of your TV. If you saw his TV, you'd want to know. You want to know about it. All right, here's the Buccaneer float. Say hi to Tim Morris. He's watching. Oh, good for, the, good for him. Is our old pal Tim Morris watching in Texas? Yes, he is. It didn't yeah. say. Yeah, he's probably in, te he's in Texas. Stella says a sweeper would have been nice between floats. These floats, there's no in between. Yeah, yeah. One parade rolls after another today, and they'll sweep it up after. <laughs> Someone, someone's saying. You know, Perlis is expensive, but you know, you get what you pay for. You know, if you want something beautiful like these britches, you know, it's not cheap. Can you wear those pants at any time besides Mardi Gras? No, and I, I try to wear them, uh, you know, kind of every day during Mardi Gras. Yeah. Sometimes I'll wash them and wear them tomorrow. Kiyamaria, thank you. We're trying our best. Hello, Gail. My good friend Gail is watching. Hope you're having a good time. It was great seeing you today. Let's see who this is. This is Carmouche. Let's let's hear them.
give a shout out to Wendy from Norfolk. Donna's watching from Monroe. James Arthur watching from St. Joseph, Missouri. Okay, we have to yell Tommy or Scotty on float 26. Thank you, Emmy Lou. Here comes a uh, Trains of the Old West. This is a cool float. Got a little train in the front and a lot of lights. We're getting bombed. We're being attacked by beads and footballs. Looks like this is another double float. Yep. Here comes the caboose. The next up is the Martin Luther King Charter School Band under the direction of Charles Brooks. This band hails from the Lower Ninth Ward, and let's give them a warm welcome. And we'll, at the same time, we'll say to Juanita, hello, Oklahoma, and Donna in St. Louis. Gladys from Fort Hood, Texas, glad to have you. Hello from Kansas City to Maria. Home of the Super Bowl champs. A temporary situation to be remedied next I year. I like Kansas City. Good for them. Yeah. Good uh, for them. Yeah. Okay. Better them than San Francisco. Oh. Right, there you go. There you go. Well, here comes the Martin Luther King Band. Let's see if they're gonna. Uh, let's see if they're gonna play for us. These bands have probably marched four miles when they get here, and uh, you know some of these. Some of the, what float are we on? Uh, I don't know. We're on uh, 16, maybe something like that. How do you know? 15. 15 just passed. Samantha, hello to Minneapolis. And Catherine from Pennsylvania. Thank you, Carl, for the blessings and prayers. James likes Kansas City, too. Yeah, we'll remedy that next year. Yeah. We're good for them this year. Chicago in the house. Marie. I love when they, you know, you see these little hearts on Facebook. You know, you see these little hearts come up on the Facebook feed and all that. I don't know if that's for the parade or for us or for the bridges. What do you think? I'm guessing it's for the parade and then maybe they like what we're saying. Maybe so. You don't think it's for the bridges, though? Uh, if you want to think the little hearts are for your bridges, good for you. As they say here, bless your heart. Okay, there you go. The next float is uh, St. Louis, Gateway to the West. And there's a there's a paddle boat on it. There you go. Well, if you're just joining us, I'm Peter Kovacs, and this is Walt Handelsman, the funniest man in New Orleans, and we're doing the Bacchus Parade. It's, a, it's not even half over yet, but it seems like we've seen a lot already.
Well, it's a great parade, and, and luckily this year I haven't gotten hit in the face with anything yet. But it's halfway over. There's always a chance. And uh, we're on our perch, which is awesome. We're right above the street. The floats come right by at eye level. And the crowd is having a blast all around us. Great music. Everybody's having fun. And we, we, we're really enjoying uh, getting our shout outs from around the country, around the world, really. And uh, it's nice to be able to bring this into people's living rooms. Very fun. Hope you all are enjoying it. Okay, and this is where we're brought to you by uh, Gardner Realtors. And uh, there's, a little, there's a little gap in the parade here. So, um, but all these people shouting out to us, you know, they should just move to New Orleans. This is where we see it. Yeah. Pull up Facebook here. Yeah. See what the latest comment is. Yeah. Uh -huh. How long is the break for the people walking? It's uh, four and a half miles or something like that. Four and a half, six miles. Yeah. And bear in mind, many of the people, most of the, of the bands do more than one parade. Yeah. It's a big week for them. Yeah. Yeah. They're exhausted by the end of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Washington State. Yeah. I just picture people in their houses, kicked back in front of their computer on their iPad, watching this parade. We're out here living the dream. Yeah. So now we have the St. Paul High School Band. They're from Covington on the North Shore. The marching band performs throughout the year and is under the direction of Andrew Moran. Let's see if they're going to play for us. in a lot of parades. Very recognizable, very good. They're not playing for us now, but... It looks like they're fixing it. St. Paul Marching Wolves, and they are from, uh, they're from Covington. We think the next float is float 17, which is a tribute to uh, Western Forts. It's a little hard to follow the parade because they actually give us a, a list of uh, the order of uh, the order in which they're going to come down St. Charles Avenue, but sometimes it doesn't uh, quite form in order, and this may have something to do with with the rearrangement of the floats in order to have individually full tractors. So this is float number 17. There are 32 floats in the whole parade. Uh, of course, there are a few more because they've separated them. This float is Western Forts. There are hundreds of Western Forts were built by the federal government, by fur trading companies, and by private enterprises in order to protect settlers. Most famous was Fort Apache, built in 1870, and Fort Laramie, built in 1834. This float depicts, depicts Fort Apache. the direction of David Wallace. Uh, Cohen College Prep is located in Central City and has innovative programs in the arts and music accessible to all grades. So let's see if they're going to play for us.
They're going to play for us. Isn't this great? Rounding the corner at what used to be called Lee Circle, it's um, it's the Bacasaurus, one of the signature floats of Bacchus. The Bacasaurus debuted in 1975, and he's 45 years old. He still glides through the streets of New Orleans like a youngster, and he is he is intimidating. Let's see what he has to offer us. Well, we got some cups. We got some cups. The Bacasaurus carries its riders in, um, in wine caskets as he glides down the streets of New Orleans. Um, again, we have, a little, uh, we have a little gap in the parade, and here are some sheriff's deputies. And um, uh, so anyhow, we, here's a cup we caught. Uh, these are great looking cups. This is a Bacasaurus cup. Got a picture of the Bacasaurus on it, and um, look at that! Isn't that cool? So, yeah, you want to see that? Yeah. It's good to see. You know, I always like catching cups, and um, uh, there, there's another band coming down. So who's watching us? Oh, there you go. Diane says, uh, while we have a little gap, Diane would like to see the bridges again. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Anyhow, I'm really glad so many of you are enjoying the bridges. I'm not sure I want to be in the same shot as the bridges. Oh, oh. I'd call them trousers or pants. That's okay, I mean. anyhow, well, I hope we don't break the camera with this. You know, they're so colorful. But those bridges and this jacket. Yeah, the jacket's nice too, yeah, yeah. Here's, uh, here's, here's Kip. RJ Bunker looking for some Ohio love. You got it. Thanks for watching. Christy's watching from Texas. They love to light up necklaces. And Goodby's watching. Joe's watching from Florida. I'm going to mention he's wearing his glow-in-the-dark Spider-Man jammies, so is everyone else. Yeah, there's another fan of the bridges, epic. Chad, Chad giving a shout out from Dallas. Woohoo! Bridges, epic, yeah. says Jennifer. Yeah. Wait a minute, hold on there. Yeah. Latrice says she's watching for five from ten minutes away. Come on, Latrice, yeah. come on out here. Yeah, we'll put you on camera. Those slats or trousers 
pictures are very funny. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, you can call him that if you want. Here's Booker T. Washington. Booker T. Washington marching band under the direction of Michael Jackson. Kip Booker T. Washington was founded in 2016, recognizing that students need an innovative and responsive way to learn. At Kip Washington, they value the culture that students bring to the classroom, and they work hard to bridge home life and academics. They just did a great job. This next float is the uh, Pony Express float. The Pony Express was a mail service employing relays of horse riders between Missouri and California. And you know, it's very famous, but what people don't realize is it only lasted 18 months. Uh, it existed in 1860 and 1861. It took 18 months, it took eight months to travel the distance on horseback, often under attack. So let's look at the Pony Express float. is the West Jefferson High School Band, Buccaneers, under the direction of Trey Varnado. They're from Harvey, and the uh, West Jefferson High School was established in 1955. I want to say hi to Brittany in Tennessee. Here's Rhonda in South Carolina. Thea in Georgia. Tyler in Pittsburgh. Lynn loves the britches. Oh, there we go. Angel or Angel from Oklahoma, Crystal from New York, Brenda from, from Austin. Donna loves the Donna bridges. says the bridges rock. Yeah, there you go. I did not think the bridges would become a thing, but yeah. they may be trending on Twitter later. Uh, this Peter's could, bridges. This, this could be this could be big. I mean, there's no telling how much money Perlis could make off of this. The thing about when you have britches like this is you really only can wear them for like two weeks out of the year. So you have to wear them a lot. You want to get your money's worth. Let's listen to Wes Jefferson. from Las Vegas, baby. June is in the French Quarter. 
What? June is June Wiley is in the French Quarter. Okay. I know you're having a good time, June. Uh oh. Love, love, love them cool bridges. There you go. The next one is Lewis and Clark. Thomas Jefferson commissioned Meriwether Lewis and William Clark to explore the Louisiana Territory in 1804, and they made an 8,000 mile trip from Missouri to Oregon and back in two years. They were assisted by French Canadians and Native Americans, um, and these explorers gave were guiding the riders to the rendezvous. And they did not wear those kind of britches. Uh, no, they didn't. That's why they had a successful mission. That's why they befriended all the natives and all that. They were scared. <laughs> You're scaring me with those britches. Your britches are trending on Twitter. Uh, Someone's from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. What wow. are britches like that in Riyadh? Look. Kelly Lewis from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. All yeah. right. What float number is this? Hey, Kelly, what time is it in Riyadh? That was close 20. Michael's watching from Rhode Island. Oh, yeah, I went to school in Rhode Island. Go Rhode Island. Emily says we love you from Denver. We got Apple, Apple Valley, California, okay. Los Angeles. Okay, I'm going to be I'm gonna be back at Brown in two weeks. I'm going to be back in Rhode Island. Maybe next year you can cut those pants in half and you can just wear bridges, shorts, Mardi Gras bridges. There you go, for the summer. This is Shaw High School all the way from East Cleveland, Ohio, under the direction of Don Sean Wilson. Shaw won first place in the human boombox battle in Nashville, Tennessee. Wouldn't it be cool if you were from Cleveland and you had to come here, you know? That great band, I think we shouldn't make fun of Cleveland for the whole rest of the. I broadcast. like Cleveland. You like they have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame there. Okay. Look, here comes the Baca Gator. Oh, the this Baca is... Gator was originally part of the gates at the 1984 World's Fair. Uh, it became Carnival's first tandem float in 1986. And it's 105 feet long and carries 114 riders. We're probably not going to see it in that form today, but hopefully next year they can figure out a way to get these floats back together. Yeah, this is the one of the most well-known floats of all of Mardi Gras season. And here it comes. Like I said, they put a mesh in front of the mouth because people used to throw beads in it and they would pull the mouth down. It's spewing out steam. Very That's the old I remember when they introduced the Baca Gator. That's old. Anyhow, here's the first part of the Baca Gator. We should give a shout out to these crews because it couldn't have been easy to split up these floats this way and, and, and get all the tractor drivers to do this. The Baca Gator has three segments because this is the third segment coming yes, here. The middle section went by. This is the first year, obviously, we've ever seen it like this. But it is what it is. Yeah. Anyhow, I know the riders are having a good I think time. There may be four sections. Well, no, you're right. There are four sections. So it was 36 years that they started having tandem floats. 
well, maybe they'll figure out something next year where they can add them with something in the middle, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. It's a four segment flow. Established in 1925 and is classified as a premier ensemble. It's stationed at the Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut. I, I like know. this float because it's so old school. It's a little boat. I just think it's it's like a throwback float. Yeah, it, it is cool. Yeah. And you know what? And what's great about this is um they get done here today they can go fishing oh you got some blinky beads there Coast Guard blinky beads the next float is uh, float 22 is Native Americans there are 500 federally recognized Native American tribes that call America home prior to European settlement some were friendly to settlers and others were hostile their numbers were greatly diminished by European disease, warfare, slavery with American expansionism, and manifest destiny. This float pays homage to them. This, is, this was also a tandem float, and so now we're going to see uh, the back half of float 22, 22B. There we go. Okay, there's a hatchet, a blinky hatchet. Let's see who's coming next. Here's another high school band. This is the Hunter Lane High School Band from Nashville, Tennessee. They're under the direction of William Brooks. They came all the way from Nashville. They're loud and proud, too. That's a great town. Yeah. And we're from Cleveland giving us a shout out. East Cleveland in the house, 216, baby. Riyadh. Every day, dude. The next float is going to is going to uh, depict the California Gold Rush. 
when James Marshall found a gold nugget on January 24th, 1848 at Sutter's Mill in Coloma, California. He started a, a mad rush to, of people going to California. How many people went to California to look for gold? Take a guess. 1,700 to 2,300 pounds. No, wrong again. <laughs> 300,000 people went to California to look for gold. Why don't you tell everyone your theory about California and why everybody's good looking? Well, the reason everybody's good looking is that the best looking man and woman in every town in America went to California in the 20s to be in the pictures. And they mostly didn't get in the pictures, but they, they created, uh, they, they met and they married and they created the California generation. And I still think that's one of your greatest theories. I think you're right. I think I am right. The best looking 17-year-old yeah. boys and girls from like Kansas City and Maryland and Oklahoma went out to be movie stars. They didn't make it. Yeah. And it was an entire generation of beautiful people. That's right. And Ronald Reagan I've always president. heard that. You told me that in 1988 and it stuck with me because I think you're right. Yeah. It's, it's definitely true. Ronald At the Reagan. same time, all the fun-loving people from around the world came to live in New Orleans, and look what we have. And that's right, yeah. And fun-loving people got married and had fun-loving kids. And they wear fun-loving britches. Yeah, and they, yeah, that's right. You could never wear these britches anywhere other than New Orleans. Absolutely not. You can barely wear them here. <laughs> See, Margaret representing Nashville. Oh, another one representing Na Nashville. We got a lot of Nashville people in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You need to come from Nashville next year, come to actual New Orleans and watch these yeah. great. It's, it's like an hour flight, so you leave an hour for the flight, two hours to get out of the airport in your Uber, and you're in town. Three hours to get to this great spot. And there you go. And you're gold. Okay. Alice Hart, middle school marching band. The Hurricanes are under the direction of Joshua Spade. Here they go. Junior high school. That, that's a hard. That's a hard, uh, hard parade route for kids from a junior high school. But they've still got some spunk. They're playing their drums. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. All right. Someone else. Uh, there's another shout out for the bridges. Homer Housing. James Homer. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's my cousin. Diane Luke. I, I used to work with Diane Luke. Wait a minute, is this our Marianne? Yeah, Marianne is watching. Marianne, hi Marianne, I miss you. Yeah, you could come we could you could come here and watch on the stands with us. John Willis from Raleigh, North Carolina. Sharon Raysfield. Sorry, I messed up your last name. Okay. This next float is uh, is rodeos. Uh, rodeo Cowboy Association. When did the Rodeo Cowboy Association begin? 1859. 1869. That's pretty good. What a guess. Yeah. yeah. There you go. William Cody created the first rodeo and Wild West show in Nebraska in 1882. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was a good guess. This is a Martin Berman School Band from the West Bank, the Charter School for Creative Arts and Sciences, under the direction of Julius Hill. 
And the band looks good, the chaperones look good. rounding the corner at what used to be called Lee Circle. It looks like it's the Baca Kong family. Let's, uh, let's see who's giving us a shout out. Jim Brand, our pal Jim Brand's watching. Oh, hey, Jim. Yeah. I don't know what that one is. We got Janine from Las Vegas. Yeah. Vicksburg, yeah. Mississippi. There you go. I, I, been, I passed through there. How many miles is this great? That's a great question. That is, I would say when it's running, well, I mean, it's got to be four and a half, five miles, right? Well, I don't think the parade no, covers no. up. The parade's probably, I don't know, two miles, maybe? Yeah, probably if you stretch it out. I know that when I'm at the parade during the day, you see the helicopter flying over, and I was saying today, that's got to be an amazing view. Yeah, yeah. Stretching down St. Charles, all those crowds, seeing the beginning and the end, very cool. That would be very cool. This is, uh... Here's the King Kong family. King Kong, Queen Kong, and Baby Kong were united in a 133 foot long tandem float for the crew's 50th anniversary. King Kong thumps his chest and, war and roars while his wife applies lip lipstick all the time looking after Baby Kong. So here's the big signature float of the whole show. This is great. And here's King Kong, you can hear him roar. Here we go. Oh. Here comes Baby Kong, Mommy Kong, that's, no, that's Baby Kong. Yeah, I guess that's Baby Kong. I don't know, Kongs are not in order, I guess. Say hi to Bonnie Highland from Holland from Slidell. What does Wobble Baby mean? I don't know. Do you know? Here's Kim from Utah. There you go. Kim from Utah. Yeah. Well, here's the baby con. next with her head moving. That's yeah, she's putting on her lipstick, see? Oh, she's so wearing cool. a thing of lipstick. See, she puts it up to her lips. And, really? Yeah, yeah. This was an original float, and I think they modernized it for their 50th anniversary. I don't remember seeing this last year. Maybe I'm wrong. That was really good. It was here. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Mommy Kong. It is cool. And here's the band from Renew SciTech Academy under the direction of Chanel Moore. The band is located in the Irish Channel on Jackson Avenue. 
Some of these are guys are so young and they march so far. How about Kelly Toker from Scotland? Oh, there you go. Thanks for watching, Kelly. Hope you're enjoying it all the way in Scotland. That's very cool. When you get toward the end of the parade, you know, you get bands that are not high school students yet. And they're, you know, they're so young, and that's a long way to march. Well, occasionally you see a dance group, like an independent dance group, and they literally have, you know, it looks like five or six or seven year olds, and they're, they're so cute. Yeah. And they can make, you know, they can do all the moves. Yeah. And they work so hard, and it's really cool. Yeah, I think they're a little older than that, but, it's cool. yeah. It's a little kid in the, in the group. Yeah, yeah, in the group, yeah. No, but, not a whole group, yeah, yeah. one right. or two real right. little kids. All right, the next float is Spaghetti Westerns, which were low-budget Westerns made from 1964 to 1978. I wonder who decided those years. They were directed and produced by Italians and filmed in Southern Europe. Many of them starred Clint Eastwood. Yeah, I've seen some of them. They're really campy and kind of, they're kind of, uh, they're kind of goofy, but they're, they're, they're their own genre of, of Westerns. These spaghetti westerns, and they're they're pretty funny. All right, let's see how much stuff we get off of this float. We're just getting bombed with stuff here. Peter just caught a, a tambourine. I caught a tambourine. I gotta say, the weather out here is absolutely perfect tonight. It's probably around 55 to 60 degrees, zero wind. Across from us is a gigantic grandstand. They're playing music, people are dancing. There are kids everywhere. And in this particular spot, since it's so narrow, everybody throws footballs back and forth across the street. It's very fun. Very lively crowd. Well, here's the East St. John Marching Wildcats. This is our final marching band, at least according to the program, from East St. John in reserve. And they are under the direction of Lalloween Robinson. So we've had some great bands here. This is a nice big band. They stretch all the way about a block back toward you know where. Richie's Boulevard? No, 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 no. Anyhow, they're playing for us. That's a good way to go. April, April wants to see some of the stuff we've caught. Okay. Well. going to give you a peek at some of the stuff we caught. I mean, I've given away about 90% of my stuff to the kids behind us, but we got the t-shirts, coonskin caps, 
All these beads, they got the super dome. All these beads, this. A blinky tambourine. A bunch of cups on the floor. This was a blinky hatchet, but it stopped blinking. Stuff. Yeah, this is great. These guys have been great. I like giving all the stuff away. I love giving it to kids. I think it's fun. Part of Mardi Gras. Yeah. Anyhow, this was yeah, this was a great haul. There's a few more floats left, and we're all excited. But uh, and we got a lot of cups, which I, I was commanded to get a lot of cups. So, there you go. There's Walt Hall. Oh, and the coonskin cap was the best. You look really good in it. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly good. It's the best accessory since the bridges. No, nothing beats the bridges, Peter. Okay, there you go. Well, let's watch the rest of the parade. Float, uh, float 27 is the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger is a fictional character, a mixture of Robin Hood and Tom Mix. He's a former Texas Ranger who fought outlaws in the West with his friend Tondo. The character first appeared in a radio show in 1933, then on television from 1949 to 1957, as well as in comic books and movies. On television, the Lone Ranger was played by Clayton Moore, and his trademark cry was Hi-O Silver. hot and cold yeah there you go let's see let's see who's watching we have a little stoppage the phrase really moved nicely but it looks like it stopped right now thank you Susan yeah it is great it's awesome to get a souvenir we get the kids behind us literally have the size of a garbage can full of stuff. I don't know how their mom and dad are getting it home. They may hurt their backs. Oh my God. Madison, Wisconsin. Someone's at St. Charles in Denver, Colorado. Well, here's, here's the Lone Ranger, yeah. They got Tickfall. Joyce from Denver yeah. and Tickfall. I know where Tickfall is, so I go up there with my friend who was house in Osaka, Mississippi. Yeah. Here comes the Lone Ranger. Oh yeah, I told you this more than two. This is 20, yeah, 
232 coming up. I think the bands are finished. We're here catching Blinky Beads. What, what did you get? A Blinky Bead Sheriff's badge. Yeah, it's a Blinky Bead Sheriff's badge. I, uh, would you trust a place that would make you sheriff of it? Sure. Yeah. First rule, outlaw those bridges. <laughs> what would be the penalty for wearing them? I'd make you wear them more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah. There you go. Walt is going every time he gets something, he gives it away to this little girl wearing bunny ears. And uh, she's like, she's weighted down. She'll probably sleep well tonight. We're at the Lone Ranger, and as soon as this float passes, the next float is the Painted Desert. And the Painted Desert is located in the Four Corners area of Arizona, between the Grand Canyon and the Petrified Forest. You knew that already. I did. I was, I was here there last year on the road trip. Okay. It was named for the Spanish explorer. was named by the Spanish explorer Coronado in 1540. This is one of the cool things that happens, and I know they don't like it, but I like it. So the braid has kind of stopped. We have one, two, three, four, five floats lined up. And it literally looks like Las Vegas at night. The entire street is lit up by all this yeah. stuff. All the way up to that circle. What's the name of that circle again? Bridges. <laughs> so. Oh well. Yeah. All right, the Lone Ranger is, uh, there we go. We just got us a snake. I guess it's a snake, right? Okay. So next up is the Painted Desert. The Painted Desert is float 28. Great folk, people are throwing their beads back at the uh, back at the snake and they're catching in his teeth. So that's kind of cool. Here we are. This is um, like There we go. And now Walt just got him a sword. There, there you go. Yeah. And he gave it to the little girl. She's uh, she's very excited. I honestly don't see how her parents are getting all that stuff on. Look over that railing and see how much stuff they got. Yeah, there you go. Well, they might need a moving van to carry it all home with them, you know? We have recycling. Yeah, we do have bead recycling downstairs. 
And you know, that's the new thing in Mardi Gras is, uh, is a greener Mardi Gras, which seems incongruous, but. Well, one of the coolest speeds I caught this year was early on in Nix, before they had their problems, someone threw me wooden beads. Oh, that yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's she nice. made them by hand, which I really like. Yeah. Now they're hanging nice. in my house. Oh, there you go. There we go, we're trying to see if we can get a bag. There you go. Parade's really stopped here, but the action never stops. They're talking about who sells the britches now. Lexington, Kentucky. Why are we stopped? Well, it's one of the many mysteries of Mardi Gras. We don't know why they're stopped. Uh, it could be that they're slow taking a turn. It could be a flat tire. Uh, don't know. Yeah. This spray's run really fast so far. It has, but everybody that lives in New Orleans, this happens. You know, probably nothing bad. It's just part of the routine. In the meantime, which is also part of Mardi Gras, so when a float gets stopped in front of you, it's kind of funny because they're used to riding and throwing, ride and throw. Then when it stops, in this area they have barricades, but in many areas you can walk right up to the float and they get hounded by people. Throw, 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 throw. We're just having a conversation with them. They're having a great ride. Ask them about the music. They're going to their big party after this. These guys are having a great time. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's a little pricey to ride, but it's fun. Once in a lifetime experience.
the parade is stopped right now, and um, it's probably at the convention center. I mean, the front of the parade is probably over at the convention center, and um, so we don't know what the stoppage is. We hope we, you know, we hope everything's okay. All right, I'm going to try and see if these guys on the float want to talk. Oh! and outlaws, and among the sheriff, good sheriffs were Wyatt Earp and Morgan Early, helping keep the peace. The bad sheriffs were Jesse James, Billy the Kid, Butch Cassidy, and the Dalton Gang. Bacchus's sheriff is here to ensure that you have a safe carnival. And they're rolling again. That looks like it. They're off and rolling, and here they come. William Frederick Cody, better known as Buffalo Bill, was a colorful figure in the American West. He was a rider for the Pony Express and received his nickname when he was awarded a contract to supply buffalo meat to the Kansas City and Pacific Railroad workers. He founded the Buffalo Bill Wild West Show in 1883, and one of his stars was Annie Oakley who's right behind Buffalo Bill on this float. Really well lit. Beautiful. Next float is Wanted, Dead or Alive. Wanted posters were distributed to let the public know which criminals they were looking to apprehend. There we go. $5,000 reward. That was a lot of money in those days. And here's the WWL parade tracker at the back. And the last float is Ghost Towns. Out west, our, out west, abandoned towns with substantial remaining architecture were known as ghost towns. They were abandoned because the town's economy failed or due to lack of natural or man-made disasters. Some famous West Texas ghost towns are Calico, California, Goldfield, Arizona, and Old Train, Wyoming.
This is the last float. Here. Well, we're getting ready to sign off. It's been another epic Bacchus night. Uh, this is the last float coming by. They're just unloading on the crowd. Everybody is bogged down with stuff. And I got a sword from the last float. You got a lightsaber. I got That's a nice. lightsaber. I don't know how you, how do you turn it on. I don't know. Put it on. What? You, you can cut your cartoonist's head off if you don't like his ideas. I don't know. I don't know how to turn it on. Well, it's awesome. We're thank you for everybody tuning in all around the world, around the world. Gardner Realtors for, for supporting us and for promoting this. And we hope everybody had a great night, no matter where you are. Happy Mardi Gras. Stay safe. We're out. We did it, dude.